right? So look at this. Somalia sister says, why are Somali men in Canada allowing Somali girls to marry ex-Jamaican convicts? Can't they, they see their sisters are being manipulated? The Asian would never allow his fellow Asian to marry a Tyrone. Salam alaikum. <laughs> Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. There's nobody in modern history, and I don't know too much about ancient history, but in modern history and recent history, nobody had to deal with the kind of racism that Black Americans had to deal with. Because regardless of what people want to come up with, the Holocaust or any other you know, accident of terror that were committed against humanity, I can bring a story, I can bring an account, I can bring a generational situation that will match that, if not make it worse. So um, in a nutshell, Muslims, we have nationalism within us. It starts out with tribalism. And I challenge anybody to prove me wrong, any of our listeners. A lot of times it starts out with tribalism. It starts out with nationalism and tribalism. Okay, we see with the Arabs, we see with Africans, we see with the Pakistanis um, and, and people from Afghanistan and different places in the sub-Indian continent, so on, so on and so forth. A lot of those people, they'll have tribalism, it's tribal pride. My tribe, I want my tribe to marry within my tribe and I consider my tribe to be special and superior and so on and so forth. So a lot of times people want that to marry outside of their tribe. Then we'll find that those people, sometimes people step outside the tribe and it's like, okay, well, they may be a little, some people may be a little lackadaisical when it comes to stepping outside of that tribe. And then once they get to that, that the first level of, of acceptance is to, to do that, to accept, some, to accept someone outside of your tribe. Then it's like, okay, now they go to another country. They may be similar, but it's not the same thing. Like, for example, somebody from Pakistan, somebody from Afghanistan, somebody from Yemen, marrying somebody from Saudi Arabia, an Egyptian, marrying a Palestinian, so on and so forth, a, a African from Gambia, or who's maybe from a Seninke African, marrying a Wolof or something that's not normal. Right, it gets a little. The people are a lot have a lot of similarities, but they're from different tribes. Then we start to get into nationalities. Now you're talking about a whole different everything. You have this Arab marrying Hispanic, or you have this you know Pakistani boy who wants to marry a Russian girl. Now it starts to get real, real, real awkward. Okay, because now you're going too far. But again, we'll find that in a lot of cases. People are a little bit more, you know, they may be, they'll go through it, but eventually they'll settle. This, the deal breaker, the one that people will disown their family over, will want to kill their family members over, will, yeah, the, the level of hatred and fit that it takes place inside of a family, or inside of a, a community, um, is often unparalleled when you see somebody want to marry somebody Black, especially Black men. And this is just a reality. And I challenge, I dare, Anybody listening on, on the online who's following, I dare anybody to prove me wrong. You can't. And I'm telling the brothers in advance right now, do anybody gets offended, be very, very careful. You do not want any smoke with this topic. I'm telling you right now. I've been thinking and waiting to talk about this kind of topic at least 15 years of my life. At least 15 years. We tell the brothers right now for the people, because people get bent out of shape and they start leaving in the post, in the, in the, in the bottom of, you know, in the poster, in the blogs. Oh, you know, Islam is, uh, you know, it's not about race. What difference does it make? Our brother uh, Najib al Angelisi already mentioned that Islam has nothing. There's no racism in Islam. But the Muslims themselves, their habits, just like there's no bid'ah in Islam. Islam doesn't have innovation, but the Muslims have bid'ah with them. Islam does not have sin and, 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 and uh, 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 contradiction. But the Muslims, their speech has a lot of contradiction. Their speech, their behavior has a lot of sin. So when I talk about our religion, Okay, we're talking about the Muslims and the choices that they make. So, Yanni, we just want to give the brothers and sisters in advance. When you speak, let's just, let, it's time for us to stop sugarcoating it and run it from these realities. These are realities. Okay, and there's a lot of stuff sometimes you find the brothers exaggerating. There are some people that they just attribute everything to racial um, um, injustice and so on and so forth. Every little thing, oh, they, because they're racist. So the brothers don't want to put their foot next to mine because they're racist. No, that's because there's some people from Ahnaf who actually believe that you should not, feet shouldn't touch. Oh, they didn't blah, blah, blah. They didn't do that. They didn't allow me. It's not always racist. So there are some people that are extreme and they're over the top. But that does not 
negate the fact that this is sad reality. So instead of you looking at a person, let's say, for example, racism is one of the primary reasons why so many women are unhappy in their marriages. Now, I can't tell you in the 10 years that I've been, um, that I was the imam, the amount of women that, I, that I've actually spoke to on the phone who hates, who literally would tell you that they can't stand their husband. They do not like their husband. They never wanted to marry their husband from the beginning. They were forced to marry their husband. What one woman said her husband literally makes him sick, makes her sick. Like just the, from the time she met him, the entire marriage, she's, he, he makes her sick, right? But the fathers, were they, they only got married. They didn't get married for no Islamic. Listen, I'm telling you right now, me, I can't think off the top of my head. One marriage that I know from people from other nationalities, I'm not talking about reverts, because reverts, they have a different set of problems. We can talk about that another time. Reverts got a separate issue, set, set of issues that they have to fix um, uh, within themselves. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, we need to do a, like 10 more marriage episodes. If <laughs> right, right. We got, reverts got a whole separate, different set of issues. But when it comes to people from uh, other countries, from the Arab countries, from the Indian, sub-Indian continent, places like that, um, and even in, in um, so, certain places within the continent of Africa, most of these, a lot of these people, they, they don't have a choice of who they're going to marry, right? And the, and the fathers, most of the, a lot of the fathers are just ignorant. They don't understand Islam. And again, I challenge any listener to prove me wrong. I, I challenge you. And that's not to say I'm arrogant. I'm just confident based off my experience, okay? So th th these women, they get put in a situation where they have to marry men they don't want to marry. They're marrying these men based off of the fact that these men are from their same race. Now, we know we have statements from the ulama that say, oh, well, you know, it's good for women to marry or people to marry within their same culture because of the, you know, the cultural uh, similarities. That makes sense. But a lot of these women who are getting married were women that, that were born and raised in the United States that were forced to marry men in their countries back home. Okay, so they don't have the same exact culture. The fathers and the mothers think because I'm from this country, I'm from that country, my kids are the same way. Your kids have been going to public school their whole life. They've been listening to rap music, Jay-Z, Biggie, all these different kinds of people. They've memorized every song, done dance to every song. When you wasn't looking, they was upstairs in your house, dancing, partying, doing all this kind of stuff, watching TV, binge watching basketball, football, baseball, all of this stuff the whole time. All the Beverly Hills 902 and all those shows that was going on in the 90s and the early 2000s. You think that that's the same girl that you that you that that's in the village, in some way in one of the Indian countries or somewhere in one of the other country? That's an American girl, right? That's just the reality. And we already know when it comes to pop culture and urban culture and being cool, this is not this is a this is a fact. And I'm, I will say this: if I had blonde hair and blue eyes, black people, for example, have dominated that whole culture. Now I'm telling you. Again, I can give you a list of examples. This is from 10 years of concentrated, I was in the EMM in New York. I wasn't in somewhere in Idaho, out in Nebraska in the woods. I was in the biggest, one of the biggest multicultural places on the planet. They want people from all different nationalities. You can marry any, anything is forgiven. Not just recently, a sister <clears throat> got excommunicated because she married outside of her uh, nationality. When I heard about it, you know what I said? I said, they're going to come back from that. It's a little beef right now. She's going to come back from that. You know why? Because she didn't do this. She didn't break the golden rule. No matter what you do, you better not marry no black man. Because the family will ex -cam. You're done. This is a reality. And I dare, I challenge anybody to come and prove me wrong. And don't give me no few. We're not talking about for the religious people, the people that really have, have embraced this part of Islam that it has nothing to do with color. It has everything to do with Islam. It has everything to do with taqwa. I mean, we're not talking about people like that. We're talking about the average, where the average Muslim has no problem with this. This is a reality. It's, it, and, and, and the fact that Muslims are walking around, dancing around an issue, trying to act like it doesn't exist. And you, I'm not racist because look, a Ramadan, I come and I sit down and we all eat chicken in the same room and our children play together. You being, you just, <laughs> listen, Nobody's stupid here. Like at the end of the day, and for the record, this is not, you know, this isn't about marriage and it's not because, you know, one group of nationality, one people no, from you one just, group you of nationality. Just, you're basically, yeah, but, saying, you're basically saying that's when it's spotted. That's basically Yeah, this saying. is, because at the end of the day, 
you know, there are Muslims who I believe they don't even realize, as you mentioned, in the what, what you do, I need you to send that to me. Because wallahi, this is a reality. Muslims don't realize, a lot of them don't realize that this is their case. The only time it becomes overt and they get like really like that is if something triggers that and they start to call names and stuff like that. For the most part, every I think every Muslim would deny that they're like this. I don't think there's any Muslim that be like, yeah, I'm, I'm like this and would deny. I, the stuff that I know, Ikhwan, wallahi, man, I wish I could mention it. But it's gonna it's gonna out so many people in the wrong communities. Are uh, the Muslims sadly are comfortable with their nonsense? And the, it's so deep that you mention those different kinds of racism. Because I tell you right now, I know a couple of situations, right? Where I call people out on. I think that's one of the reasons why the brothers didn't renew my contract because I started to get at these issues. You understand what I'm trying to say? And I started to take certain stand those issues, and it started to get a little bit too political. You understand what I'm trying to say? Some of it started to get too political. Um, and I think that's one of the things that made some of the people uncomfortable, right? Uh, but nonetheless, nonetheless, um, when you bring up these issues, wallahi, I'm telling you, you bring up these issues, brothers get so uncomfortable. They get so uncomfortable. And, and, and honestly, that covert, you know, backdoor, you know, sneaky, like you really got to be sharp to, 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 um, to, um, to point it out racism. I don't know how the Muslims got that science down pat, but they are masters when it comes to being, you know, having these these race, race, racist issues and, and so on and so forth and not really letting nobody do, like not letting nobody know that they like that. The only time it becomes um, uh, overt is when somebody, daughter, marries somebody black. Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her, and she'll give you a million dollars for it. You'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you, we're using rocks for currencies, chump. <laughs> <laughs>